Susie. Sue, this is Sue. She's up, she's giving me a lift, which is very nice of her. Thank you very much, Sue. You're welcome. Um, it's a very nice morning. Anyway, it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice walk, I think. It's not far. Morning, Jim. <laughs> I hope it's not a close off. Uh, good no. luck with the rest of your walk. Thanks. This is Elaine, who's yep. from the Wirral. Actually, yep. I recognise that really nice Wirral accent. That's it. Lived here 26 years. And are you going to have got a good Christmas lined up then? Well, we have. We've got all the family around for Christmas, so I'm going to be very busy. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Great okay. to meet you. I know it's only briefly, you too, but Jim. lovely to meet you. No problem. Okay. I'll, I'll catch up with you on social network. Thank you very much. Okay. That, that's lovely. Bye bye. Have a good Christmas. You too. Bye now. Bye then. Here I am at Prey Sands, and this is Andrew, and this is Lynn. And I'm told actually that the neighbours, not man and wife, which I thought I think is rather funny. And behind them there's the houses in which they live. This is a really nice part of the world, Andrew. How long have you been here? I lived all uh, timely you should ask. We will have on Thursday we will have been here a whole year. Oh really? Yeah. Oh well so so you're just settling down to it then. It's, it's yeah. a, a lovely I've known it all I've known the place all my life though. Yes. I've really. longed to get here. And, and you, Lynn, are you a long uh, resident? Uh, not here, no. Um, in Cornwall, yes, but not this particular part. Just over a year now. Yes. Yes. And you were telling me that this has got a good reputation, this piece of coast that I'm about to embark on here. You think it's the, it's the best stretch? Well, well, this is obviously only my own personal opinion, yes. but I think that the best stretch of the, of the British coastline is from, from Marazion to the... To, uh, the lizard. Yes. But hold on a minute, let's not tell everybody that, that's our secret. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, to be honest with you, I've been absolutely gobsmacked with it all. It's, it's all been terrific and, and the people have been really friendly. I've met some lovely, lovely people and uh, it, it's, it's great. I knew that lizard might be a little bit difficult with the logistics, but I can work on that. It's, it's an awkward to get around to the buses and things like that. Oh, I, I but, think there's uh, a bus you know, service, all right. I, I, well, I mean, sometimes it's a little bit difficult for where the campsites are or where I'm actually walking. But I've, I've had that problem all this, for the last 2,000 miles, so it won't be anything new, you know. But anyway, it's been a real pleasure meeting you. It's a lovely weather forecast today. Yeah. Until about 2 o'clock this afternoon, and then we're going to get some more rain and some strong winds again. That's everywhere else, not in this stretch of the coastline. <laughs> <laughs> Never rains here. Enjoy your walk. <laughs> Thank yes, you. Hope Thank it you. works out. Good luck, Jim. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Bye bye now. Bye bye. bye, -bye.
Good morning. It's Monday the 17th of December, just one week to Christmas, and it's 11.45 and here I am just over halfway between Pra Sands and Porth Leven, which I can see ahead of me. I'll give you a really nice shot of it in a second. And um, I set off early this morning. I stayed last night at uh, my usual site where I've been on and off for the last couple of weeks actually at um, Heldsavor which is just south of St Ives. The weekend weather prevented any walking at all. It was it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be but nevertheless it was too bad to walk and I was nursing my um, groin strain and definitely I would say the weekend off has made a massive difference I'm walking quite easily today and uh, I'm still taking it easy but I'm not taking any risks but after today it looks as if I might be having another rest because there's a weather front moving in this afternoon which is why I was keen to get up early and get this job done today because around about two o'clock apparently the heavens are going to open again and we're going to get strong winds but I'm staying on a campsite which is right next to the um, they've got a pub there actually uh, on the site which is part of a football complex and everything a little bit pricey it was 22 quid which is rather a lot but it'll do for a couple of nights and tomorrow I'll be going uh, over to uh, Lizard to, to meet some people uh, that I heard from last week and I'll, I'll be very pleased to meet them and uh, might just have a recce up and down the coast even if the weather's bad I can't sit around on a campsite again for another two or three days so it's been a, a, a very very nice walk this morning we're joined by a guy called Andrew with his two dogs they walked with me for about a mile or so and very chatty nice bloke and Sue the lady who gave me a lift this morning I uh, just got a piece of car and wrote Pra Sands on it and 10 minutes later she stopped because mysteriously I was standing at the bus stop with my hand out to stop the bus and it just went sailing past so I don't know what happened there so anyway here we go
Well, it's eight o'clock now, and I'm in the out of the blue pub, and I've met Lara, and she's she's here with her party of people who say they don't want to be on, but I'll I'll find a way. Don't worry, Lara. So, the the, the question I wanted to ask you was, uh, uh, and I asked you briefly, are you from the village? So, so you, you was actually born here in in Port Sweden. And, and you live here now and all the rest of it? No, I, I lived here for 19 years from about ah. the age of nine. Um, yeah. Wasn't actually born right. here. Right. Um, but yeah, did 19 years here, so basically grew up here. Um, yeah, loved it. Enjoyed it as a kid, but uh, I just wouldn't want to live here now. It's too, it's too modern now, too new, and just uh, too many strangers. Really? Yeah. It's funny, actually, I was in, uh, I was further up the coast at the... Uh, the uh, Oh, it'll come back to me in a, in a second now. I'll think about it and mention it again. But people, would, this woman was telling me that there was, this is the case with the loads of places now where the local people have more or less had to be forced to move out because of the <laughs> amount of new people and the price, property prices, yep. etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yep, that's it. And hard, finding it hard to find work, and, and, and the work that you can find is minimum wage that's and all it. this kind of stuff. That's it. <laughs> and, exactly. And, and this, this has had quite an effect. <laughs> Um, it has. Pretty local people struggle to buy houses here because, like I said, the, the, we don't get paid as much down here as they do up country. Um, and the houses down here, because there's obviously sea views, people buying second homes um, are, yeah, like I said, they've been they've been pushed out of the market. Really, they can't afford it. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, uh, so I'm, I'm coming here, like you know, just before Christmas. It's, 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 the weather's, you know, it's not not been brilliant. It's been windy today. I walked up here today. And uh, I've got another two days where, again, it's going to be too wet. But I mean, they, they, looking at next week's forecast, we've got 10 degrees every day. And, and mm, no yeah, it's very mild. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's suddenly going to turn. And that, that, that really has lifted my spirits. Yeah. I mean, you must see all the different weather then over the years. Some, some violent yeah. storms. And everything. Very, very violent storms. I think a lot of people come down here in the summer and they think, oh, it's so lovely, it's so pretty. And then they come down here and experience one of the major storms and then they. They kind of run away with the tails between the legs. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it does get pretty violent down here, pretty windy, um, very wet. Uh, we the houses and stuff down here they suffer from a lot of damp, um, but it's Cornish air. It's just the damp Cornish air, that's the way it is. Right. So, yeah, very wet place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you very much indeed. That's all I all I asked of you, two or three minutes, just to tell me about, you know, something about it, other than me. I meet lots of walkers, but I, I, I and lots of different people on the coastal path here, walking the dogs and everything, but this is a, quite a, a different environment for me to actually be in, in a pub for, for, you know, I have been in a pub for ages. No. You know, I, I just sit in my van most nights, and, and when I get an opportunity, I take it. And there's yeah. a bit of live music tonight, and so I thought, well, you know, yeah, there's there's can pool match going on as well. Um, oh, if you want to see a lot of history of Port Flevon, if you get around the building and there's all sorts of like little pictures, yeah. uh, and there's a brilliant couple of pictures down there of the storms that we've had. Right. Um, I can see the one down there now with the pier, um, and obviously like the local sort of community, the fishing community. That's what the yeah Port Flevon essentially is a, a fishing community. Yes. Um, but it's not obviously with weather and changes in the environment, fishing quotas. Um, there's not so much fishing goes on down here anymore. No. Um, again, because of prices, and obviously you've got Spanish fishermen and French fishermen, uh, they're all sort of taking their little bits and pieces. But um, yes. yeah, yeah, it's been nice talking to you. Thank you. It's been lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. dream that I. Thank you.
I'm sending you across the stony sea. And take a tip before you ship along the iron gang. Don't get your game, but me pay, or else you're bound to hang. Or else you're bound to hang to me. And after that, Jim Jones. <laughs> Right down to the right. 